Hey everyone, it's Tech Freak back here with another video. And in this video, guys, I am really excited to show you the top 10 CDA tweaks you can get for iOS 8. Now, these are some cool CDA tweaks that I use myself. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first tweak here is very noticeable from my home screen, and it's called Weatherboard. As you can see, I have th some thunder running in the background as a background picture, and it's striking and having some these cool animations here. Now, this is called Weatherboard, and it's a really cool CD tweak that you can get from Cydia. And uh, by going to the settings here, you'll find a new preference called Weatherboard. Sorry, weatherboard, and you can choose a lot of other overlays. Now, my best one and my personal favorite is severe thunderstorm, but you can choose fog, you can do sunny, you can have a lot of cool animations. So, you have a brief view of this. As you can see, there's sun coming out there from uh, the left corner, and you have freezing rain. And I don't know if you can tell, but there are some rain falling right here on my phone and. Uh, you can see there's hail, holiday spirit, if it's in Christmas. So this is Weatherboard. It's really cool city tweak, and uh, you can check it out. Uh, I have a video show to you guys how to get this for free. I'll be posting a link for that down below in the description. And uh, yeah, this is Weatherboard. As you can see here, it has really cool animations. The next tweak here is called Tinch. Now what Tinch does, it gives your labels a new look. Now as you can see here, if you didn't notice, I have a blue look. I have a blue color for my uh, labels here, my switchers for on and off. So uh, these are called labels. You can change this from settings by going to Tench settings, as you can see here, and you can set some uh, pre-made colors that come with the app. Let's see, there is the orange pass here, as you can see it changes the color or you can customize your own color so I have this one already customized now if I enabled this it gives that really nice color custom color but I prefer having a pre-made color actually it's more accurate and I uh, love the sh champagne gold here so it's a really nice city tweak uh, you can get it uh, for uh, from Cydia and it's called Tinch again the next tweak here is called Spin. Now what Spin does, it gives a really nice cool look to your song that is running in the lock screen. So you have this grabber here that you can uh, grab here and change the part of the song that is running. You can change the song uh, by going right there and tapping on the left to right. You can play or pose the song. Uh, nice look to your a lock screen when playing a song. So this is a simple tweak called spin. The next tweak for you guys here is called sorry low battery. Have you ever been in this situation where someone wants to use your phone and you don't want them to and you don't know what to do so sorry low battery will fix this for you. You can set an activation gesture but mine is actually from the control center if I tapped on this sorry low battery here and basically what it does it will show a fake battery percentage. So as you can see here, I have 2% and this is not actually the real one, this is the fake one. So uh, anyone who asks me, I'm just gonna tell him, oh, sorry, low battery, it's 2%, you can't use my phone and I need it. Yeah, this is that simple. So this is the function that, sorry, low battery does. You can set an activation method for this and when you turn it off, of course, it will return to its normal, and this is, by the way, the normal battery on 12% right now. So this is sorry, low battery. The next tweak here is called Repower. Repower basically replaces the slide to power off button with three other buttons. Of course, the slide to power off and slide to reboot and slide to respring. And this is really useful if you're someone who likes to change the look of his device a lot and you have to respring your device a lot. This is a really cool way to respring right away. So just hold your power button to preview the power, uh, slide to power off page and uh, these two new sliders will appear so this is repower and in settings there are no such settings to configure actually it's just a kill switch right here that you can turn on or off if you want this is repower check it out the next tweak here guys is called Pyo protect now if you're a kind of a guy who doesn't like to put a 
passcode to his phone on the lock screen and you just want to lock individual apps that you don't want anybody to use, BioProtect is the tweak for you. Now, BioProtect, what it does, it allows you to protect individual apps and individual settings with your fingerprint. Now, if I want to access Springtomize, I have BioProtect enabled for Springtomize, it will ask me for my fingerprint. And now, if I enter my fingerprint wrong, it will not allow me. But if I enter my right fingerprint here, it will allow me to enter to my uh, spring to my and you can also set this for different settings as I mentioned earlier Maybe I've set this for the uh, Wi-Fi hotspot if I want to go to the Wi-Fi hotspot I will need to place my fingerprint to allow me to go there. So uh, Yeah, this is a really cool function that BioProtect does it also allows you to uh, Protect your phone from being shut powered off So let's say here if I want to slide to power off, it won't do that unless I enter my fingerprint. And this is a really cool feature right here. The next tweak here is called Camrix. Now what Camrix does, it gives you this little window pop-up. So you can con control for your camera. So this is actually a mini camera right here that you can activate with an activation gesture. Now if I put it to the claws here, uh, tap. If I drag it to the close tab here, it will close. Now I've set my activation method to three finger spread. And as you can see here, there is Camrix working. If I tap, I can take a picture. If I uh, tap and hold, it will take a video. If I tap and hold again, it will stop taking a video. And if I tap with two fingers, it will switch between the front facing. So I've just hidden my front facing camera here and uh, between the front-facing and the back-facing camera. So this is a one good tweak here for you guys. And you can set from settings the size of this pop-up and some other settings like the flash settings and stuff like that. Now if I go to Camrix right here, you can go and see here you have the activation method, the default camera that it always pop up in, and the flash mod, the media quality, and the shape, the size. You could change a lot of cool stuff here, so download Camrix and play with it. I've made a video on how to get Camrix for free, so I'll be sure to leave a link for it down below in the description to check it out. So yeah, this is Camrix, guys, and uh, go check it out from Cydia. The next tweak here is called Mini Player. Now what Mini Player does, it allows you to control your music really easily. So if I slide here, I can control my music with this little nice looking Mini Player taking straight, taken straight from iTunes. Now if I tapped on the album board here, I can open my music app. If I double tap, I can change it from to black to white. So this is really cool, and I can move it around here, and if I just uh, I'm done with, uh, with my, what I'm doing, I can slide it away here, and it's now in my, uh, uh, you know, edge here. If I tapped on it, it will pop up again. This is a really cool way, way to control your song. Now, I cannot actually right now play this song because I don't want this video to get copyrighted, but uh, you know what it uh, means. This is mini player for iOS 8, and it works really fine. The next tweak for you guys here is called Passeria. Now what Passeria does, it saves all your words that have been copied to the clipboard in a keyboard. So basically if I tap and hold on this globe icon here and go to the Passeria keyboard, as you can see I have all my words and sentences that I've copied in one place and I can just tap on it to type it again you know I can do whatever I want I can clear some stuff so it's a fully functional keyboard that collects your uh, words and sentences that you've uh, copied to the clipboard so this is a really cool city tweak and really helpful sometimes I don't want to copy a link and go again and then copy another link and then I forget the other link and then I go copy it again so it just saves all your copied links and words in one place and this is a really cool city tweak you can adjust some settings from uh, the settings app of course so this is Pesadilla I've also posted a video on how to get this for free you know all, everything's gonna be down below in the description so check out the description for that now for the final tweak here guys this is Virtual Home 8. Now, Virtual Home 8 is by far the best city tweak that you can ever get. At least for me, I use this all the time. 
No, uh, this basically gives your home button a break and replaces your home button with your touch ID sensor. So now your touch ID sensor works as your home button. So let's say if I want to return to, uh, you know, go to home, I just press my home button. Now with Virtual Home 8, you could just touch the touch ID sensor and it will go to the home. So I just touched, I didn't press anything. Now double touch will cause the multitasking center. Now. Look at this. I double touch will open the multitasking center. Now, uh, the multitasking switcher. Now, there are also some other functions. Let's say I want to tap and hold like this, it will lock the device. Without touching any buttons, you can simply just touch your home, touch ID center, your touch ID sensor, and it will right away unlock your phone now there are some other stuff right here if you touch and hold you can invoke reachability and this is reach app by the way and uh, this is really functional CD tweak it gives your home and power button a break so yeah guys this was the last CD tweak to show you here this is virtual home A. check it out it's a really nice CD tweak so uh, if you did like this list of tweaks Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this and check out my channel for cracks. I made a video on how to get AirBlue sharing for free so I'll be sure to put this in the link down below in the description. So yeah guys, uh, this is the top 10 best city tweaks you can get for your iOS device, for your iOS 8 device right away. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you up in the next one. Peace.